gonna give up Got too little time, I'm gonna give up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb And I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough Cause climb Cause I'ma live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by I be in my feelings, I'ma be fine Need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight, yeah I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight, always have a vision I go by at night, I be in my feelings I'ma be fine, need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got real guy Super huge So we're going back to the visitors building To go watch that movie I don't think we'll be playing it for you also But we'll be able to continue the tour afterwards because it closes at 7 p.m on regular check-in to ensure that you have hit the like button you have shared you have subscribed and everything oh yeah the tree is very yeah this one this one i see and you like unravel the secrets of life from the tree it's very very pretty who will not put their freaking dogs on the leash the dog don't know. Yeah. See for that son. Fourth York Visitor Center. So instead of going through here. Oh no, this is an exit only. If you want us to go back, but like I don't know. There's another entrance. The other place is exit only. So let's go back inside. The outside is huge. <laughs> yeah. So we enter from this door. The building is very, very unique. Operation Theater. It's about eight, ten minutes to movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. How huge it is. Over 200 years ago, in a small harbor town called York, on the edge of the British Empire, 12 era military buildings in Canada. From these grounds, thousands of artifacts have been recovered, illuminating our past. Over 200 years ago. Peter Kelligan, you did a great job narrating this. Thank you so much, the city of Toronto, for your National Historical Site. Let's do this again. It's gonna, the doors are going to open for me. We'll be sitting here while we or you can go back inside and like study this thing 
North and South Soldiers Barracks. North and yes. South Soldiers Barracks. Waiting for our tour, guys. Yes. <laughs> we are on tour. We are on tour. Okay, we're going with a tour guide. Barack Zoom, 1815. What used to be during the war of Nepal? Any guesses on how many people this room might be able to host? 30? No, initially it hit us. Mm -hmm. today. We would prefer to have our own space instead of uh, turning and bumping to each other. Mm -hmm. But at the time, most of um, the rural farming, some of them might be from the city, uh, have profession like tradesmen. Um, so it's very heavy um, carbon hydrogen meat based diet. Um, as you can see, the top is bread or flour, and then there's beef or pork. Um, yeah. So um, we already seen what the soldiers have, what's in their room, and next time we move to where officers would stay outside. Yeah. Oh, those are just for um, their daily uses, mainly for cooking sometimes, uh, because the soldiers have to cook their own food. Um, so they would take their ration, maybe five or house, uh, make a stew or something, and then bring it back to the Okay, bye. Bye. On to the next house. This is also all part of. But this is a military base, anyways, but it's all beside Fort York. You see the tanks. More video proof from the military base. That's right beside Fort York Historical Site.